Hi, I'm Chantal with Growing Up Without Borders. We're going to take you on a really fast, quick tour because this stop, um, as you'll find out really soon, is kind of an unpredicted, prolonged little mini vacation, if you will. And uh, this is the beautiful town of Saint Raphael, right along the coast, the Côte d'Azur here in southern France. So come along, we'll quickly take you on a nice tour. So we're in a city, I think it's the size of a city, it's called San Rafael, and um, we kind of got stuck the last few days, which has been in one way a blessing in disguise and another a little bit of a nuisance because our car was getting fixed and took longer, way longer than we thought. We just had like one bad thing after another. But anyway, we're still here one more night, apparently it's going to be fixed tomorrow. and. Um, so we thought we'd show you what it looks like here, because we might as well. It's right beside Fréjus, so we're in between Saint-Tropez and Cannes, right along the coast. Over in a distance is literally the sea, and it's actually quite beautiful. So let's just go check it out. So like any typical European city, you've got the main squares and the beautiful little stores and cafes all along. And what's special about this one is you've got the Mediterranean Sea. Look what I found here. We've got this beautiful church standing right in the city center. These birds are all fighting over food. Many of these statues here. This one says pour le droit, which is for the rights. This lady must mean something else. She's holding what looks to be flowers something which is an angel and this one's for liberty all along the mediterranean sea here in france you get all these beautiful colorful buildings of course everything dates back from so many years ago that the architecture is just beautiful you see over there in a the distance you have this beautiful big huge ferris wheel and then you have a really nice carousel for the kids to enjoy right here by the sea and then they have a really nice beach that goes all along like this this is really nice all the beautiful boats here. Of course, anytime you have a Mediterranean Sea, you get these beautiful yachts and boats and catamarans and all kinds of things. Just simply amazing. Very, very, very inviting. So you can take a boat all the way to Saint-Tropez from here. It's only about an hour and there's two that go per day. So one is at around 9.30 in the morning and the other one is 1.30 in the afternoon. Looks like they have a really nice market all along the seaside here with things for sale. So this market goes literally all along the seaside for, uh, oh, this guy's selling other stuff. But yeah, it just keeps going and going and going. It's really quite nice. There's another sculpture behind me there. I'm sure if you can see, because the way I'm filming with the sunlight, but uh, it just goes on for at least a few kilometers. It's beautiful. And now we're approaching Fréjus, which is technically the, si the city that's right beside it. I just love all these baskets that they sell here in France. They're so pretty. They literally sell everything here at the market. I've seen bags, I've seen bathing suits, I've seen shoes, olive oil, olives, herbs, like everything you can imagine they have for sale here. This is a really nice statue here in the middle of a roundabout. It's a statue of heads with beautiful water coming out on the sides of it. 
Look what we just found. So we're on our way back towards the hotel and just check out this whole area is so pretty. So behind me there in a the distance, what you see over here would be Fréjus. So a couple things about Fréjus is it has an amphitheater and it's an old uh, Roman city. It has an aqueduct as well, so kind of cool to check out if you're in the area. I'm really liking this classroom setup here, girls. What do you think of it? It's nice, huh? You get nice comfy. Yeah, Isn't it nice? Yeah, I don't know how to make it lower though. Okay. Yeah. And we got these French books, right? They're working pretty good with all the it subjects in it. French, math, history, science, English. I don't need English. Pretty good, no? Yeah. So we're still waiting for our car to be fixed. We're trying to get work done, home school done, and have somewhat of a normal life in a hotel. Plus it's an optical illusion, but it's not because it started from there and it went straight up. I think that's a jet of some kind. No, it's going to space. It is. It's going straight up to space, isn't it? See you, Martian. That is so crazy. Yeah. It's like a, a cat. I think it's an optical illusion too. It must be because but it just looks like it went straight up to space like that. It's going up to space. No, I think it's an optical illusion. You don't believe in space? <laughs> so I'm just going to show you a little bit what the map is like here in Frigius because it was an old Roman town. They have all the um, ancient spots and ruins like an aqueduct and they have uh, an old amphitheater and so this map here shows you what it used to be like. So here we go. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. This is the map here. That's the old city doors coming in from Rome. That's the amphitheater over there. They had nice thermal baths. This here they called it their forum. This here over there is their big theater over there. And the water used to come all the way up to the city gates. So five years ago, that's ten, five, five years ago, we met a really nice couple and it was uh, Gary and Liz O'Keefe and their two daughters. So we met them at uh, the campsite we were staying here in Fréjus. We had a lovely dinner just uh, in a distance behind us and it's just really funny that we're right back here uh, where we originally met them. So behind me is the tourism office so it's really good to come here because you can get your maps and stuff whatever you need. All the way up to here but then they extended it because on the map over there it showed that there used to be water here and all around the city there's a lot of information. There's an, a whole bunch of signs but the only thing is that it's in French so Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of our upcoming videos. See you guys next time. Bye bye!